Hi guys, I'm very tired right now, but I wanted to shoot a quick video um, just talking about some of the things I was talking about last week. Um, and if you watch my video from last week, I was talking about how I um, went from the new age to God, to Jesus. Um, well, when I was a new age, I was still, you know, worshiping God, um, but I kind of separated from Jesus. And you'll hear more about that in that video, as well as maybe some videos I may do in the future so I can elaborate on that. Um, but I had someone in the comment section who had a lot of questions about my beliefs. And um, I just wanted to quickly say something in regards to those types of comments. Um, I don't mind you guys having your own opinion, difference of opinion, not understanding, things like that. I mean, that's totally fine. Um, but I do believe that it's all about your relationship with God. It's all about your relationship with Jesus. So the things that you experience, is not always easy to explain to someone else who has not experienced those things. And that's why they say when you go, to, you come to God, you come to God with an open heart. God does not want people to force, you know, others on to him or, um, you know, force people to believe that Jesus is our savior. Um, that's definitely, in my opinion, not what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to love others and be a vessel. That's it. I'm not here to judge people. I'm not here to force people. I'm here to encourage others and just be a vessel and to share my experiences and that's it. My experience is unique to me and I do believe that with Jesus, um, you don't have to force his name. You don't have to force the name of God onto anyone. That's just my opinion. And that's my belief. And I feel like a lot of people tried to do that in the past. And that created a lot of um, people feeling guilty or shameful or turning away from God or turning away from Jesus. That is definitely not what I am trying to encourage people to do. I want people to know the love of God and the love of Jesus through, you know, some videos that I may make. But um, I don't want people to think that God does not love us for who we are or that Jesus is not open to who we are. Because again, um, some of the best testimonies are from people who were down and out, who strayed away from God, who strayed away from Jesus. And those are the ones who are relatable most of the time. Um, a lot of people don't want to hear testimonies where you were perfect your entire life and now you're trying to tell other people what to do or how to live their life. People don't really relate to perfection. None of us really do. So, you know, we want to hear the real. And that's what I'm here to share with you guys. I'm not here to force you guys to believe what I believe. Um, and this page is not only just going to be about, you know, things like this, but I just wanted to um, say that because, you know, in the future, there may be more people that comment on my videos. And I want you guys to know that I am not here to go back and forth and debate in my comment section. If you guys want to do that amongst each other, that's up to you. But I just got I want you guys to remember that we are supposed to spread the love of God and bring show people that 